Less than a week ago, an Ottawa University football player narrowly escaped death in the weight room. Eric Schultz shows us how he's doing today and who gave him a special send-off on his road to recovery. The goodbye hugs came one right after the other. Matt Bolig even got a visit from some former chiefs. Bill Moss left him with some gifts. Matt leaves Wednesday for Denver. He's going to a special rehab hospital. Tuesday, family, friends, and teammates packed this room for him. It was hard to believe, but last week, they almost lost him. I was lifting at the Ottawa University where I go to college, and uh, I was doing a hamstring workout where you kind of step up on a box. He had 320 pounds of weight on the back of his shoulders. A misstep made him lose control of it. He didn't want it to fall on his spotters, so he tried to sit down with it. The weight came crashing down and badly damaged his spinal cord. Coach got on the phone and he said, no, Valerie, it's serious. Uh, he can't move his legs. Matt's mom just wanted to know if he was still breathing. Deep down, she knew if he could just survive, he could overcome anything. I just know him and I know he's going to get through this and I know he's going to be a better man for it. For now, he's paralyzed from the waist down, but he's ready to embrace his future whatever it holds. I know I'm going to get through this. I mean, maybe maybe never be able to walk again, but my goals haven't changed. I'm still going to go out and I'm still going to try to coach. I'm going to do whatever, whatever comes my way. Matt's team wants to win a national championship for him this season. Extra motivation to win one for their quarterback, who may be down, but not out. Eric Schultz, 41 Action News. Matt Bullock is headed for Craig Hospital in Denver, where he'll undergo aggressive rehab and learn daily living skills.